Ed has produced a whopping four days and five hours worth of content over the years, and it is all going to come to an end with the eighth and final season. Did you know that the final episode of The Walking Dead almost went in an entirely different direction? What was the reason behind the cancellation of The Walking Dead? Stick around and you'll find out. What will Season 8 be about? Season 8 will be released in May, and it will have 12 episodes for the fans to enjoy. There have been some teasers about the season and what it may entail, so let's take a look. Remember that these are only based on on teasers and may not be entirely accurate. The last part of the season will continue the story after Morgan and Madison were kidnapped while trying to save Mo from the secret facility known as Padre. They will face challenges and struggles under Padre's oppressive rule, but they will not lose hope of finding a better life once they find Mo. Kim Dickens, who played Madison, will return as a main cast member after a guest appearance in the previous season. Woohoo! It is tough to predict the details of the story of season 8, especially since season 7 was such an unpredictable ride. Open the door. What do you mean? Do I look like I've got a lot of time left? Talk about surprises, huh? So who are we expecting to see in Season 8? Let's take a look. Who will feature in Season 8? Well, let's see. From the latest season of Fear the Walking Dead, a bunch of characters are still alive and kicking. Morgan Jones, Alicia Clark, Victor Strand, Luciana Galvez, Dwight, Sarah Rabinowitz, Wes Thompson, June Dory, John Dory, Max, Daniel Salazar, Grace, Virginia, and Althea all made it through Season 7. But you know how it goes. In the zombie apocalypse, things change quickly and drastically. How the last episode of The Walking Dead almost ended. Oh, look, Charlie, I don't want you to look at me. I don't want this to be what you remember. Of me. Disclaimer, watch out for spoilers. The finale was called Rest in Peace in relation to the series and the character that dies. The creators pulled a sneaky and used the last moments of an ending series to set the scene for a spin-off. How clever. We see Rick Grimes and Michonne go about their storyline, sowing the seeds for a spin-off. But it was later revealed via Instagram by the series finale's director of photography, Dwayne Charles Manweller, that an alternate ending actually existed. What? This scene was going to show us a scene said in the future. You all right? I'm better now, sis. What the hell is going on in there? How did you get past the Rangers? Listen, I don't have time to explain, but we all need to get back inside of the tower. Which follows RJ and Judith as they are in their 20s and joined by other grown-up versions of the original show's young characters. They aim to assist survivors while they travel on Atlanta's Freedom Parkway, which is a reference to a scene from the first episode featuring Rick. It's fair to say that this ending would have been very exciting to see, so we really don't know why they ended it this way. Why The Walking Dead has been cancelled. Here's the problem. We can't trust your instincts, Strand. Not anymore. We. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. The show was getting repetitive, and it was the same old, someone's in trouble, but then the group fights together to save them. There is only so much you can do with a bunch of dead zombies and a group of survivors. The producers, therefore, decided to end the franchise to make way for new stories. We were hopeful about this statement, but alas, we were truly let down. <sighs> what were these new stories? Spin-offs with the same characters. We just needed some originality, guys. The news that the show was ending came as a complete shock, not just to the actors, but to everyone involved in the production including Scott Gimple and Angela Kang, and us. Did you mean it? Mean what? What you said to Daniel. About me being the closest thing you had to a daughter. He and I wanted the same thing. According to Morgan, it came out of nowhere and caused a significant change in plans. That was it for Season 8 of Fear the Walking Dead. But did you know that all the other spin-offs may never air? And finally, are all the Walking Dead spin-off shows in trouble? During the Television Critics Association's recent press tour, AMC's President of Entertainment and AMC Studios, Dan McDermott, addressed the recent cancellations of shows such as Damascus and Moonhaven. According to McDermott, AMC is canceling shows in order to have fewer shows on its schedule. Schedule. This statement raises concerns about the future of the upcoming spin-offs of The Walking Dead. Yikes! The Walking Dead was a very successful show on AMC for a decade. It ended its 11th season in November. Where is she? Oh. 
However, the franchise continued to expand with spin-offs such as Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead World Beyond, and Tales of the Walking Dead. AMC has also announced plans for more projects in the franchise, including Dead City, The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, and an untitled show featuring the original series characters Rick and Michonne Grimes. Enjoying it so far? Wait till you see what we have in store for you at the end. Stick around. Would they really cancel a fan favorite show? All the new spin offs of The Walking Dead are scheduled to be released in 2023 and are in different stages of production. Dead City is set to be the first one to be released. AMC has showcased Dead City at the TCA press event, which suggests it's unlikely to be canceled. Even though the original series has ended and World Beyond is off the air, there are still five TWD shows in progress. This is a high number for a network that wants to reduce its number of shows. This really doesn't look good for the remaining shows. We won't be surprised if more shows get cancelled, to be honest. Once Fear the Walking Dead comes to an end after Season 8, the next big thing lined up is Tales. Tales is an anthology series set in the TWD universe that has not been well received by fans and may also be facing cancellation due to AMC's cost-cutting measures. Who would have guessed? While AMC could cancel any of its new TWD spin-offs before they even start, it would be an unusual move. We found him. Since each of the upcoming series include the return of popular characters and the network is looking to take advantage of its most successful franchise, McDermott stated that although AMC is reducing its spending, the recent cancellations saved around $400 million, and the network is still committed to collaborating with the best in the industry to provide popular franchises. The Walking Dead universe will likely be a major focus for the network in the future. However, AMC must take many factors into consideration when developing its schedule. We don't want any more cancellations. So, the most major spin off series of The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, is already coming to an end. We can take the guards, your people and ours. We can take control. Yeah, like we haven't tried that before. The same thing always happens. People who shouldn't die end up. Season 8 will show the final episodes of the show and bid farewell if there aren't any more spin offs. Talking of the other spin offs, their future is not looking too stable at the moment. AMC is cutting down on its spending and has decided to focus on only the most important franchises they have going. The criteria that makes a series qualify as major or irrelevant is still not clear, but we can.